hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in this third video of bonus and right issue chapter we are going to solve our third problem which is illustration 3 from the ICI study material but before going ahead with this video please make sure you have watched the previous two videos of this chapter in the first video we have discussed everything regarding the bonus the concept legal provisions everything the accounting treatment yes and then in the second video we have solved two problems illustration one and illustration two of the ICI study material now here let's get back to this video and let's solve this now let's understand the question first see here illustration three following notes pertain to the balance sheet of solid limited as at 31st march 2021 so we have been given the balance sheet extract let's understand see here authorized capital 10,000 12 percent preferentials of rupees 10 each 1 lakh okay that's the authorized preferential capital and then here we have 1 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 each 10 lakh yeah authorized equity share capital and then see here issued and subscribed capital 8,000 12 percent preferentials of rupees 10 each fully paid up 80,000 this is the preferential capital now you don't have to be worried about preferential capital because bonus issue is not related with preferential capital at all right so that is why even after the bonus issue preferential capital will remain the same there is not going to be any change in that fine okay and then we have see here 90,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each rupees 8 paid up you see this equity shares are partly paid up equity shares are partly paid up so what can happen if it is partly paid up if it is partly paid up then you all know to issue fully paid up bonus share what should happen share should be made fully paid up right then only issue of fully paid up bonus shares can happen according to the company's act yeah so in this question what can happen two things can happen either either they will make a call and receive the money right making the shares you know fully paid up by conventional way or the second way is by way of bonus call you have to see what the question says is that clear right we'll see that seven lakh twenty thousand that's the paid up equity share capital fine and then see we have reserves and surplus general reserve one lakh sixty thousand which is a free reserve we can use that for bonus revaluation reserve is an unrealized reserve we cannot use that according to the company's act right so it is prohibited for bonus and then we have securities premium collected in cash if it is collected in cash then we can use the securities premium right twenty thousand now even if collected in cash was not there still we would have assumed that securities premium is collected in cash only and we would have used that in the bonus issue is that clear right yeah and then profit and loss account two like five thousand okay and then here we have see a secured loan 12 percent debentures add rupees 100 each now you know this is going to remain as it is because it is not relevant to us in bonus issue yeah it's not connected okay then see here in the additional information on 1st april 2021 the company has made final call at 2 rupees each on 90000 equity shares the call money was received by 20th april 2021 you see this line from here you can understand from these two sentences you can understand company has made these equity shares fully paid up by the conventional way that is making the final call and receiving the money no bonus involved okay no bonus call has been made they have made a conventional final call received the money and made the equity shares fully paid up so that they can go for issue of fully paid up bonus shares is that clear yes thereafter the company decided to capitalize capitalize mean issuing fully paid up bonus shares right capitalize its reserves i mean this bonus issue its reserve by way of bonus at the rate of one share one share for every four shares held one share for every four means one is to four one is to four right one is to four so one is to four you can interpret it like this one by four or you can say in terms of percentages also it's 25 percent yeah you know that four shares held if you have four shares then one additional shares will be given to you yeah one additional share will be given to you show necessary entries in the books of company and prepare the extract of the balance sheet immediately after the bonus issue assuming that the company has passed necessary resolution at its general body meeting for increasing the authorized capital now this last line also giving you a hint that hint that there is an authorized capital adjustment what is authorized capital adjustment let's understand this see here what are the existing equity shares 90,000 you all know bonus is given on existing shares only 90,000 are the existing equity share what's the bonus ratio bonus scheme ratio 1 divided by 4 right so if you calculate how many bonus shares are being issued here 22,500 
22,500 the bonus shares plus the plus the existing equity shares then of course your issued paid up and subscribed capital goes what goes above the authorized capital see authorized capital is how much authorized capital is 10 lakhs here see here, let me just show you 22,500 plus 90,000 shares yeah bonus plus existing that's equal to how much 1 lakh 12,500 shares into the face value the face value is rupees 10 so your capital yeah issued subscribe and paid up capital has gone 11 lakh 25,000 right and your authorized capital is 10 lakh so in this case what you have to do I have always explained you right in both the previous videos that what you have to do whenever your you know issued subscribe and paid up capital goes above the authorized capital of course normal thing is you have to just just increase the authorized capital you have two options either increase the authorized capital by the number of bonus shares issued that is here in this case 22,500 or you can use you know the second approach where you just take the additional number of shares required how will you calculate additional number of shares required really simple and straightforward see here this is the capital after the bonus issue how much 11 lakh 25,000 right and what is your what is your authorized capital in this question authorized capital is 10 lakh so just increase the authorized capital by how much minus 10 lakhs here that's equal to 1 lakh 25,000 yeah you just need additionally 1 lakh 25,000 now so just increase the authorized capital by that okay both the ways are right is it clear simple and straightforward now let's go to the general entries and let's solve this question now here we have the general entries so how many general entries do we have to pass in this question it's really simple see here which type of bonus is this this is first type of bonus right issuing fully paid up bonus shares to existing shareholders how many entries you all know two entries we pass the first is when the bonus is announced at that time from accounting perspective we decrease the reserves by debiting them and then transfer the value to this dummy account which is called as bonus to equity shareholders account and then we you know cancel this account in the very next entry by debiting it yeah making an equal debit and transferring the value ultimately to equity share capital account by crediting it this is what we do in this first type of bonus issue issuing fully paid up bonus shares right but now in this question what happened in this question the shares were partly paid up and the company made a conventional final call and received the money so because of that we have to pass additional two entries it can happen depending upon the question you have to see okay there might be some additional entries is that clear there can also come you know a forfeiture entry yeah yes so see here first let's see those entries yeah making the shares fully paid up so see here first they will make the final call really simple final call entry you all know equity share final call account debit to equity share capital account final call of rupees 2 per share on 90,000 isn't it 90,000 equity shares 2 is pending so 2 rupees call okay what is the amount really simple 90,000 shares into 2 that's equal to 1 like 80,000 okay and then the money has been received as said in the question the call money was received by 20th April so in 20th April bank account debit yeah bank account has increased to equity share final call that final call account you will cancel is that clear after passing these two entries your equity share capital is what is fully paid up right your equity shares are fully paid up it will be 10 paid up okay and then what will happen and then you have to proceed ahead with the bonus issue issue of fully paid up bonus shares the two entries okay so now here the bonus amount what was the bonus value value of the bonus value of the bonus was really simple we already calculated that 90,000 were existing shares the ratio was how much 1 by 4 so you can do 1 divided by 4 that's equal to 22,500 these were the bonus shares right so 22,500 into what is the face value rupees 10 so this is the value of the bonus how much 2 lakh 25,000 2 lakh 25,000 so now you have to decrease the reserves by 225000 and increase the capital by 225000 that is the ultimate net effect ultimate goal of the bonus issue decreasing the reserves and increasing the capital you know that right so now from where this will come you have to see that properly this is first type of bonus so you can take that money yeah from these reserves 225000 you can take from crr sp cr and gr and yeah free reserves gr pnl dividend equalization fund and so on is that clear in this sequence you have to go that's very important but now in this question do we have crr and all no what do we have 
we have see here we have general reserve we have revaluation reserve which we cannot utilize according to the companies act we have securities premium now crr is not there leave it we have securities premium that's the sequence now first crr then securities premium we have securities premium let's utilize that 20000 yeah debit the securities premium account by 20000 is that clear so see 225000 now minus 20000 sorry 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 20000 that's equal to 25000 we still need some more right so how much we have to use the general reserve then or profit and loss okay there is no sequence inside the free reserve let's use the general reserve first 160000 okay debit the general reserve by 160000 okay so minus 160000 then additionally we need how much 45000 yeah so that 45000 has to come from where G general reserve is completely finished we cannot use the re revaluation reserve sp is completely finished we have profit and loss let's utilize profit and loss we have to like 5000 in profit and loss we can take out 45000 easily right so debit the profit and loss yeah they have written balancing figure fine 45000 is that clear so this way you will decrease the reserves by debiting it okay because reserves have credit balance by debiting you are utilizing them up you're decreasing them and then this value will be transferred to this temporary dummy account which is called as bonus to shareholders which comes under equity category so equity has credit balance if you want to increase the value in that then you will have to credit that account of course right to bonus to shareholders account to like 25000 is it clear simple and then what will happen and then you all know we cancel the bonus to shareholders account when the shares are actually issued right so to cancel what you have to do here it is credited you will make an equal debit and cancel it off to like 25000 and then ultimately what will happen the capital has to be increased so you will increase the capital by crediting it to equity share capital account to lakh 25000 is that clear capitalization of profit ultimately profits reserves are converted into capital that is what happens in the issue of bonus shares right okay and then we have to now understand how to prepare the balance sheet extract it's really simple what you have to do in balance sheet extract tell me what you have to do how will you do this it's really simple see don't think about the amounts first what you will do you will write balance sheet extract as at 30th april 2021 after the bonus issue okay particulars notes amount okay just prepare the format first just prepare the format first okay equity and liabilities shareholder funds share capital reserves and surplus and then in this question you also had what you also had you know you also have debentures right 12 percent debentures so that will come under non-current liabilities long-term borrowings isn't it yes and then just write one two three leave the amount forget about the amount it's really simple then go to the notes to account yeah prepare the notes to accounts in notes to accounts what will happen see here really simple you already know this in notes to account first you have equity share capital right let's take equity share capital authorized share capital now there is an adjustment of authorized share capital isn't it you have to increase the authorized share capital how much you will increase it was really simple see here see our capital is becoming how much i told you see here our capital is becoming how much 10 lakh was the authorized capital right let's write that authorized capital ac is how much 10 lakh right and then our you know paid up capital let me just write pc issued subscribe and paid up capital is how much it is uh how much was it 90,000 existing shares plus 22,500 uh, this uh, bonus shares that's equal to how much 1,12,500 shares so into 10 the face value that gives us 11,25,000 11,25,000 right so what is the difference between this how much additional shares do you need in authorized capital yeah how much extra capital you need in authorized capital you have to just increase the authorized capital by the difference right just by the difference 11 lakh 25000 minus 10 lakh that's equal to how much 1 lakh 25000 you have to just increase the authorized capital by this amount is it clear sorry my circle is bad <laughs> right <laughs> 1 lakh 25000 is that clear that is what you have to do so see here authorized share capital that's what they have done 1 lakh 12500 equity shares of rupees 10 each they have increased see here let me just show you the working notes see here the authorized capital has been increased by the sufficient number of shares sufficient number means how much extra do they need okay whatever extra they need just by that limit they have increased the authorized capital because that's sufficient now. this is sufficient exactly sufficient how much 
one lakh twelve thousand five hundred into ten. That is eleven lakh twenty five thousand. Okay, eleven lakh twenty five thousand. It has been made equal. Okay, yes. Increase AC by this. All right, you got it. Okay, authorize. And this menu got it and then see here issued subscribe and fully paid up share capital 1 lakh 12,500 equity shares isn't it 90,000 existing plus bonus that's equal to 1 lakh 12,500 equity shares of rupees 10 each fully paid up out of the above 22,500 you all know now we have to you know show this disclosure isn't it I told you in the issued capital you have to write a line out of the above how many shares out of the above out of the above mean this 1 lakh 12,500 how many shares are issued under the bonus 22,500 so out of the above 22,500 equity shares at rupees 10 each were issued by way of bonus is it clear this thing only fine okay and then preference share capital as it is we had how much you see yeah authorized was 1 lakh sorry 10,000 authorized was 10,000 12% preference share the same thing will come see here 10,000 12% preference shares of rupees 10 each yeah 1 lakh and then issued subscribe and fully paid up share capital the same thing 8,000 12% preference shares of rupees 10 each yeah, the same thing there is no change at all in the preference share capital is that clear simple fine and then what do we have see here 1 lakh and 80,000 this is the preference share capital and here was our equity share capital so that's over just add it up okay 11 lakh 25,000 plus 80,000 you will just add up the paid up capital of course so 11 lakh 25,000 plus 80,000 that's equal to 12 lakh 5,000 okay that's the total of share capital 12 lakh 5,000 now go to our main balance sheet see here share capital 12 lakh 5,000 is this clear simple and straightforward next we have reserves and surplus so come to reserves and surplus what have you done in reserves and surplus check the question in reserves and surplus you know we have completely utilized the general reserve we have completely utilized the securities premium isn't it but we have not touched the revaluation reserve it is as it is right so revaluation reserve as it is 35,000 okay 35,000 general reserve is completely over securities premium also completely over see securities premium 20,000 minus utilized for bonus issue 20,000 nil general reserve 160,000 less utilized for bonus issue minus 160,000 nil clear easy and then profit and loss account from profit and loss account how much did we utilize from profit and loss account we utilize only 45,000 in the general interest you can see that so you will just subtract 45,000 you all know this it's really simple yeah so you will have how much uh, PL balance left see here 205 minus 45 yeah 2 lakh 5,000 minus 45,000 that's equal to 1 lakh 60,000 so 1 lakh 60,000 in the PL is left okay so the total of reserves and surplus is how much 35,000 plus 1 lakh 60,000 that's equal to 1 lakh 95,000 okay so 1 lakh 95,000 total of reserves and surplus that will go into the main balance sheet format see here reserves and surplus 1 lakh 95,000 yeah 1 lakh 95,000 easy simple and then non current liabilities as it is there is no change in that long term borrowings yeah you just have to explain that in the notes to accounts right long term borrowing secured 12% debenture is 100 each. the same thing whatever you had in the question now 5 lakh yeah is it clear simple so this is what and the authorized capital this note you have to write okay so that the examiner can understand you know you have done that the authorized capital has been increased by sufficient number of shares 11 lakh 25,000 minus 10 lakh okay 11 lakh 25,000 minus 10 lakh yeah clear so this is how you have to solve this question really simple and straightforward now the notes and all I will upload to the telegram channel so you can understand and see okay right so that's it that's it for this video see you in the next video Bye.